Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome back. My name is Tess. Today's video is going to be the swatches and four different tutorials inspired by the new Pat McGrath Mega Celestial Divinity Palette. I'm gonna put it here. There are six new shades that she came up with. Oh, you guys did request it, more Pat McGrath tutorials. These four looks I created, I didn't necessarily use a lot of Pat McGrath because I wanna use what I already have in my collection to create um, something similar that you probably can achieve with that color story you know we're going very economical here we're trying to save money but of course if you already have that palette i'm pretty sure you can easily follow along the tutorials i hope these four looks can give you guys some inspiration including this one i'm currently wearing right now and yeah if you guys are interested please don't forget to subscribe please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends without further ado let's get into the swatches and then the tutorials. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and jump into the swatches. I'm gonna let you guys know these are the two palettes that I use on my eyes today. This is the Dose of Color Desi and Katie Frankation palette. I got it on sale, but I rarely use it on myself. I use it quite a bit on my client, but I don't use it on myself. And this is the Carmi Make Magic palette. And today you're gonna see a lot of this palette. If you already have this palette, I think you already have that four shades that Pat McGrath offers in her new color story. I'm going to swatch for you guys. This is Free Hugs and the green shade is called Integrity. We're going to swatch You Got This, that dual chrome shade that she came up with. Magenta shade called Desire right here. It's magenta shade. So these are the four shades that we're mainly working with. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand so we can do a close up. So this is um, the mat, and I'm gonna swatch something else too. So I'm gonna leave a little space in between, and this is the green. Granted, it's not as pigmented as the Pat McGrath ones for sure, and this is the duochrome, and we're gonna do the magenta. Magenta is really just not as pigmented. You gotta really build it up. This is the four shades that she came out with. They're a lot more special than a gold and a brown. Let's just be real. So I'm going to swatch something similar right next to it. Um, the first one that I found that I personally have in my collection is this green right here. This is um, the Super Shock Shadow from the Vault Collection. This is the green that I found. I'm going to swatch it next to this green so you guys can compare a little. There is more of a gold base, a lot more sparkle. And another green that I found actually has more of a gold shift is the one from B and K. This green right here. And compare a little bit and swatch it here. Yeah, this has a little bit of a more of a gold shift as well. And for the dual chrome blue and green shift, also found another one in the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette. This is the shade Cactus. This shade right here. I'm just gonna swatch it next to it. I'm just gonna swatch it right next to this. As you guys can see, it pulls a lot more brown than blues and greens. You can still see a little bit, but not as intense. And the only other magenta, sort of, that I found in my collection is also this. called Moon and Swing, the Super Shock Vault. Just gonna swatch this shade next to it. It's a lot darker. But, yeah. Another green eyeshadow that I have is from NYX. Prismatic eyeshadow called Bewitched. So I actually have quite a bit of a green collection here, huh? Kind of like shattered. But I'm just gonna swatch it real quick. I didn't use it in my tutorial, but I just wanna swatch it right here. So I guess if you have something mossy greeny it might work for you too i didn't really use it I'm gonna swatch the green for you guys 
Also for the pinks, I really didn't find a pink that's quite like this. Another one of the pinks that I have um, is the one from Carly Bible Palette. That one has discontinued, so I'm not going to swatch it. For the golds and the brown, I'm going to swatch it off camera. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. I'm gonna swatch it off camera and we'll come back. One gold and a brown is from the um, Subversive Palette. I'm gonna swatch this and this. One from the Mothership 5. There is a gold and a brown from Brown Seduction. And there's another gold in a brown from um, the Frankation palette. That's mainly what I use, this brown and this gold shade. So yeah, if you already have a gold and a brown in your collection, you're probably not as excited for the two shades that she added in there. And yeah, I'm just going to swatch it off camera real quick. I'll come back, zoom you guys in on the swatches, and we'll jump into the tutorial. Looking for a one night. You're not looking for a love life. Maybe we can have a good time. I already primed my eyes. Let's go into the first look that I'm going to create. I'm gonna tap into this shade called Be Hugs. This shade right here. I'm going to just buff that. Let's go ahead and buff that on the outer corner all the way to my inner just to give it a light wash okay so now i'm gonna go into some glitter primer I'm just gonna go into this ColourPop Super Shock shadow called Miss and Bliss. This is from their vault collection. I'm gonna go into this green right here and I wanna pop that on. So now I'm going to go back into the palette. I'm taking this shade called Integrity on a smaller blending brush. I'm going to buff the edges, kind of sort of blend out the crease area. So I kind of don't want the hush line over here, this area right here. Just want to go in with the magenta shade right here. On the finger, press that on my outer, outer eyelid a little bit, connecting the gray. Brush out the SS. Open to light a renegade life, but I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna go back into free hugs and kind of buff out the edges. Buff a little on my inner and outer. Okay, so just to go back into my lower lash line, um, I was using this this color from the Carly Bible palette. I'm gonna smoke that along my lower lash line. And then I wanna go back to the first pink. Just keep on smoking everything out. And I want to go back to the first brush that we use and buff the edges out. Okay, so now for the inner portion of my eyes, I'm going to go into some more glitter primer and I want to prep my inner corner. And I want to put a little bit on the center where 
the green and the magenta meets. Just put a little bit on there. Go into the Desi and Katie Frankation palette. I want to take just a kiss, this gold shade, and I want to pop that on my inner corner right here. You can bring that up a little bit, up a little along the inner corner area, my lower lash line here, and also I want to pop a little bit on the center right here. You can just use your finger. Pat McGrath Mothership 5 from Seduction. I'm gonna take this champagne shade and I'm gonna pop that on my brow bone. And just to add a little bit along this area to make everything pop a little more all right put on some lashes and mascara this is the first look okay so for my look number two i'm still still going in into free hugs to just outline the crease for a little bit. I wanna bring it all the way to my inner corner. And we wanna switch to a smaller blending brush. And I just want to buff out the edges a little. If you want a more diffused look, you can go into a cream white. Um, I've been going into the shade from uh, Tati Beauty a lot. I love the shade Aura. It really acts like a eraser. You can just lightly buff it over. And everything's gonna be seamless. Now I'm gonna go into my glitter primer. I really want to go in to this dual chrome shade and pop that on the eyelid and see what happens. Oh, you see the shift? It's stunning. Imagine I will do your doorway. Imagine skipping all the foreplay. Imagine all the stars in one place. Cause you, you really make me wanna fly. Cross my heart and hope to die. Lonely, you're the reason why I can feel those black. That shade is just so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the blending brush and I want to take the shade called Desire, the magenta shade. Just buff over the edges. And then I'm going back with the finger. Oh, just like really go in. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into a dark brown from the Desi and Katie Frankation palette. I'm gonna dip into um, Chins deep in my outer corner. And then I wanna go back to the first brush and then buff all the edges. I'm just gonna go back and forth. I'm gonna go back to the pink shade called Free Hugs. Mix a little bit with the brown. 
that I just use and kind of just buff it along the outer corner area and bring it a little bit above here to connect in the middle to connect everything um, in this shade called You Got This and I want to pull that on my outer just press that over here and kind of pull it out a little bit Okay, and then I'm going back to the first brush. I'm just gonna buff the edges out. Okay, so for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go back into the shade called Chins. And to make a little wing. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to free hugs to just buff that out so it doesn't look as harsh. So moving forward to my inner corner, I wanna create that green and goldy green type of a situation so i wanted to go in with the green that i have and i want to put that on my inner corner as like a little pop of color go into just a kiss from desi and katie just to create that greeny gold type of a shimmer. Okay, so for my brow bone area, I'm same thing. I'm going back to the Pat McGrath Champagne Gold. I wanna highlight my brow bone with it. Okay, I just pop on some falsies. This is look number two. For look number three, let's just go to town with the green. I can't believe I forgot to turn on my microphone again. I'm sorry. It kind of took me a while to, you know, take everything off. Anyways, I'm going to go into the green that I have been using. And I'm going to just go to town and press that all over my eyelid. So I found this green shade in the VNK palette. I'm going to pop that on top of it just to give it more glittery, shimmery shine. And now I'm going back to You Got This, this duo chrome shade. I'm going to press that on my outer V and also I'm going to drag it outwards to create a cat eye effect. Okay, now I'm actually going to go into a smaller blending brush and I want to keep on working on the shape that I'm trying to create. So that's just basically what I'm trying to do. I'm just going to add that depth and then drag it out. I'm also going to sweep that on the center of my eyeballs just to marry the two shades together. The shine though is kind of insane. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot to turn on my microphone. I'm sorry. So frustrating. All right. So now I want to go into the brown from Fincation Palette. Lightly deepen my outer V. And you kind of just follow the shape. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna bring the brown on my lower lash line. I'm just gonna smudge it, keep smudging it. Back to the green from Miss and Bliss. I used this green on the inner portion and I kind of just married the two in the middle and buffing it outwards. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the dual chrome blue green. I'm gonna pop that on the very top here. I just highlight my brow bone with the subversive champagne gold. And now I just want to pop the Just a Kiss shade, this gold shade, on my inner corner. And of course, I want to bring it up. So for my lower waterline, I kind of want to put this green Skindle eyeliner in the shade 006. I want to put that on my lower waterline. And for some reason, I really feel like I need a black wing liner for this dramatic look. So I'm going to do a wing, which really happened, but here we go. Let me do a wing real quick. went offline to do my mascara and falsies. This is the finished look number three. Look number four. This is basically a variation from look Number three, I just switched the um, lower lash line to magenta pink. Okay, so for my lower lash line, I'm just gonna go back into chins. And I'm going to just connect my lower lash line to my upper. I'm just gonna lightly bring it over. Okay, so for my inner corner, this part, I want to add some magenta. So I'm going to go back into um, the magenta shade Desire. First trip is to the cemetery, yeah, throwing bees next to Hustler in the dictionary. Yeah, that's a hood legend. This shit gospel had your hands in the air like a good question. Yeah, all these hood lessons made a nigga who I am. They turned out to be some good blessings. But okay, yeah, so now I want to go back into chins, this dark brown. Just tap a little bit on the same brush and I wanna smoke it out. I'm gonna marry the two in the center. I'm gonna smoke everything out with free hugs. So there's no hush one. On my shoulder, I got a few, they trying to knock them off. But relay shit, I had to pop it off. Coming from the land where cold water meeting sagging off. And niggas quick to judge. Alrighty, guys, I just put on some lashes. I didn't want any liner for this look, but I do want to intensify this magenta moment. I'm gonna go into a little berry magenta shade. It's a little deeper, but I feel like the sparkle is gonna make it pop more. Um, so I'm just gonna go into the shade on the same brush and I'm just gonna tuck it in here and wiggle it on. Concentrated, but I ain't never worry your flows be confiscated and have these rappers full of shit, they constipated yeah. But that's another matter for a different day of words are like bullets can fuck it. I had to let it spurt. It helped to ease the pain. I'm just wondering if you feel the same. 
same. I've been wondering if you feel the same. This is the finished look, number four. Alrighty guys, that's it for today's four different looks plus the swatches. Yeah, I feel like after creating six looks, actually there are two, three looks I didn't like how it came out. I definitely probably will consider getting the Pat McGrath palette in the end when it goes on sale or something like that. But I'm in the middle of a move right now, so I don't want to clutter my collection with another palette that i probably won't use immediately just to collect you know so yeah if you guys are really looking for that six new shades these are the color combination these are the um, tutorials that i came up with if you do think that you already have some of these shades you probably don't need to spend another 78 us dollars and you know it's kind of pricey comment down below let me know if you guys like this look or the three other looks that i created and let me know if you guys like the new releases color story inspired eye tutorial i can do more for sure just you know digging up in my little collection here and you know creating the looks for you guys let me know if you guys like this type of video and that's it for today's video please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do follow me on instagram tiktok and i love you guys i'll talk to you later